Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can create contact and Apollo.io application directly and automatically from your Google Sheets. Guys, Apollo.io is a sales engagement and intelligence platform by which you can improve and manage your sales. And if you are using Google Sheets application to maintain the list of your contacts or customers, and you want to send the details of the contacts into Apollo.io application automatically, this video is for you. Here we are going to integrate Google Sheets with Apollo.io without any coding by just few clicks. So if you want to know how to do this, stay with me till the end of this video. To set up this automation, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli. And I'm going to paste the same link in the description as well. So from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automation. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you have to sign in and select the Pavli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect right here. And from here, you have to click on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to your automation workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Google Sheets to Apollo.io. Okay, and after giving this name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So by connecting the application in these two modules, we can set up any automation. So trigger is that event which start our workflow and the action is the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So in this trigger uh, section, you have to connect that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. And in the action module, you have to connect that application in which you want to perform any automated action. So in our use case, Google Sheets will be our trigger application because here we are adding the details of the contacts and Apollo will be the action application where we want to send the contacts. Okay. So here you have to search for Google Sheets, then select it. Then you have to use the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet rows. And it will give you this URL. So with the help of this webhook URL, we are going to create a connection with Google Sheets application by following these steps written here. And after that, we are going to capture the response of that connection. So to create this connection, first of all, you have to open your spreadsheet in incognito window because here is my spreadsheet and here I am using multiple Google accounts in the same browser. So if you are also doing that, it is better to open the spreadsheet in incognito mode so that we can properly make the connection. All right. So I have already opened it here. Let me show you. Here is my spreadsheet. And guys, here you have to click on extensions button and from this add-ons option, click on get add-ons. And from this Google Workspace Marketplace window, you have to install an add-on here, which is called Pavli Connect Webhooks. Search for Pavli Connect Webhooks and install it here. Okay, and after installing it, you have to refresh the spreadsheet. I have already installed it. So after installing the add-ons, refresh the spreadsheet, that is an important step. And after that, when you click on extensions again, you will find this Pabli Connect Webhooks option readily available in this dropdown. So from here you have to, from this option, you have to click on initial setup button. And this window will open up. And here you will find these two fields, the Webhook URL field and the trigger column field. So in this webhook URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow. And in the trigger column, you have to mention the final data entry column of your spreadsheet. So what does that mean? Here, let me show you. You can see in this spreadsheet, I'm going to start entering the data from this column A. First of all, I'm going to fill the first name, then last name, then, e then email address, then organization's name, and then the postal code. So this last column, in which I'm entering the postal code is the column E. So as and when I'm going to enter this last data, that is going to trigger the workflow and the data will be sent. Okay, so E column will be our trigger column. Okay, right. So I'm going to first of all, uh, click on extensions, Pabli Connect Webhooks initial setup, I'm going to open it. 
and from uh, my workflow first of all let me copy the webhook url here is the url let me just click on copy and here you can see as i have copied this it started showing waiting for the webhooks response okay now let me come back to my spreadsheet here and let me erase this field first and let me paste this url now okay and the trigger column is the e column and here you can see we have this send test button right here so by clicking on send test you can send the test data from your spreadsheet to your workflow and that data will be captured here in this response section okay so as i'm going to click on send test the data of the first row that we have will be sent to the workflow let me show you i am clicking on send test and here you can see test data sent successfully start showing up here and this is the data sent dummy customers data and this is the data that got sent so now you can click on submit button and close this window you can see the setup is configured successfully close this and this is the data of the first row we have let's see now in the workflow if we got the data and here you can see we have received this data here it is showing the organization's name is mb organization this is the tri trigger columns name this is the sheets name this is the uh, sheet id and here you can see the details of the customer dummy customer and this these are the same details i have filled here in the first row that's how you can capture the data so we are done making the connection now you have to do one thing more here go back to the spreadsheet one more time and here guys from this extensions menu click on public connect webhooks and here check this send on event option also so when you check this send on event option whenever there is a new row that is going to trigger the workflow okay so uh, go back to the spreadsheet and now it is time to send this contact as a contact in apollo.io application for that we have to connect apollo here in this action step and the action event will be create contact then click on connect here from this window select add new connection and here it is asking for the api key of apollo.io so if you are already logged in in apollo you just have to click here on this here word written in blue and you will reach the api key pages of apollo application and on this page here you can see uh, you will find this api keys option click on it and under this page you can create a new key or you can uh, or uh, you can use this already existing key th like this i have okay or you can create a new key so i'm just going to copy the old key and i'm going to paste it here and then click on save and here's how you will be connected with apollo and here you can see it started showing these fields the first name last name organization's name email and all these things to create and save a contact in apollo so guys, I'm going to map this data that I have received here as the test data from our Google Sheets. And I'm going to map these labels here in which I have received the data here in these fields. Okay, so to map the labels, you just have to click here and the previous trigger step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find all the data right here. So for the in the first name field, map the first name label. In the last name field, map the last name label. In the organization's name, map the organization name label which is here for the email use the same process all right if you want to provide a title you can provide a title here you can select the stage of the contact here as cold approaching replied or interested so i'm just uh, selecting here as interested here you can enter any website address if you have or the address of the person okay in the address let me just map the postal code okay now guys you can click on save and send test request button to check your connection with apollo.io and a new contact will be created in apollo application here in the saved section let me uh, click on save and send test request and see if we got a new contact created and here you can see this is the response we have received let's see in apollo if we have a new contact here let me refresh this section and here you can see guys we got a new contact added like this named as dummy customer organization's name is here and here you can see the email address is here everything got fast here and the contact is added that's how it is going to work guys 
So our connection is working fine. Our automation is working fine. And you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually. After that, whenever you are going to add any new row here, any new contact or customer here, the same will be added in your Apollo.io application automatically without any manual intervention. You do not even have to open this workflow that is going to run in the background. All right. And guys, if you want to use this workflow, you can use it because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.